First, a breaking news you saw first on two. A second Harris County deputy relieved of duty in connection with the deputy go forth murder investigation. That was Mark De Leon, uh, who was interviewed by us in September. Now he's accused of having a relationship with Deputy Goforth's mistress. We begin tonight, uh, though, with some breaking news that we first broke this morning. The bombshell that we've been talking about dropped in the investigation surrounding the murder of Deputy Darren Goforth. Right now, we know the female witness in the deputy murder case has been linked to yet another deputy. Let's get to our team coverage. And good evening. De Leon has not been home all day, and other attempts to contact him have been unsuccessful. But his attorney now says they're focused on getting his job back. It's very overwhelming. Deputy Mark De Leon, a 14 year veteran of the Harris County Sheriff's Office, talked to our cameras just after the murder of Deputy Darren Goforth back in August. De Leon told us Goforth was a good friend. He was my voice of reason. Whenever something would frustrate me that I wasn't happy with, I would run it by him. But according to sources, De Leon and Goforth were having a sexual relationship with the same woman. The Harris County Sheriff's Office terminated De Leon on Tuesday after sources say the relationship continued while he was on the job before Goforth's death. We visited the deputy's home hoping to talk to him, but no one answered. His neighbors say they're used to seeing his patrol car in the driveway. I'm really sad by this because he's a really good guy. Uh, I've talked to him a couple of times about an issue that I've had, and he's provided uh, feedback. My son really looks up to him. Deborah Killo, who lives across the street, says she will not look at her neighbor any differently. And he's only human, and we all make decisions, and sometimes we make decisions that unfortunately affect us for the rest of our lives. De Leon's attorney sent us a statement saying, quote, Mr. De Leon has no comment as to the facts surrounding his separation of employment from the Harris County Sheriff's Office at this time, as he will avail himself to the appeal process under Harris County Civil Service rules. And that statement confirms De Leon is appealing his termination, and his attorney expects that hearing to happen in the next few weeks. Reporting live in Northwest Harris County, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Kathy, thank you. And this is just the beginning. There could be more. The fallout from this investigation could get even worse. Just a short time ago, Harris County Sheriff Ron Hickman admitted there may be additional members of his force that could be fired in the wake of this scandal. Robert Arnold continues our live team coverage right now with the candid statements that Sheriff Hickman just made. Well, when we sat down with Sheriff Hickman, one of the main questions we had, are more deputies being investigated for the possibility of having a relationship with the woman who witnessed the murder of Deputy Darren Goforth? Are you concerned there are others? Yeah, obviously. I mean, you know, this one seems to be the gift that keeps on giving. For the second time, Sheriff Ron Hickman is having to address the firing of an employee over a relationship with a woman who was there the night Deputy Darren Goforth was killed. As Channel 2 investigates reported, this woman was also in a relationship with Goforth. You know, we have to take responsibility for the action of our employees. Hickman says 14 year veteran Deputy Mark De Leon was initially untruthful about his relationship with this woman, and sources tell us he is also accused of having sex with her on duty. Before this, Sergeant Craig Clopton, who was investigating Goforth's murder, was also fired over a relationship with this woman. The leader of any organization would be highly embarrassed for the conduct of an officer that would lead up to termination due to some kind of relationship. Hickman said he does not believe his department has a pervasive problem, but just last week, the sheriff's office did have to draft a formal policy prohibiting deputies from having relationships with people connected to criminal cases. Hickman admits the policy was a direct result of these latest debacles. And obviously, it's embarrassment to us that we would have to actually put that in writing. Now, Sheriff Hickman would not go into specifics, but he did say the investigation into whether more deputies were involved with this woman is not over. Reporting live from the Sheriff's Office in downtown, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.